You know, there's nothing more satisfying than watching Nazis get absolutely destroyed. Sisu, Sisu, Sisu. Oh, it's a good one. This film definitely had a Quentin Tarantino and Glorious Bastards vibe, everything from the cheeky chapter titles to the over-the-top violence. If I were to sum up Sisu in one word, it would be satisfying. It is one of the most satisfying films I've seen in a long time. The film sets up tension and then pays it off. Our theater had quite a few pops because it's so well directed and written. When I left the theater, I had a big shit-eating grin on my face and was just staring and smiling at random patrons. I look like the smile poster. What does Sisu mean and why should you care about this film? Sisu is a Finnish word that means extraordinary determination and courage in the face of extreme adversity, typically in situations where success is highly unlikely. Sisu isn't historically accurate. It's a work of fiction and it allows the actors and the director to play around in a world where they terrorize Nazis. The movie has a show rather than tell approach. Within the first five minutes, there's a river bath scene that tells you everything you need to know about how badass our lead character is. The lead is played by Jorma Tamilla, and I haven't seen him in a whole lot of films, which made the performance that much more believable. He had an air about him that reminded me of Kratos from the recent God of War games. A very solemn, quiet, peaceful man who wants to keep to himself, but is thrust into battle. Jorma plays a quiet gold miner who just wants to be left alone. He only utters about two lines in the entire film. Shout out to his adorable sidekick, the Bedlington Terrier that looks like a little sheep. If you feel nothing when this dog is on screen, you likely don't have a soul. The cinematography and landscapes really shine in this film. The Northern Finland backdrop is stunningly beautiful and it's set in 1944 near the end of World War II. The score really adds to this film. It's got that guttural Nordic sound that we've heard in films like Robert Eggers' The Northman, that <coughs> You know what I'm talking about. This film is written and directed by Jamari Hellander, who I haven't seen very many films of because he hasn't directed that many films. His last outing was 2014's The Big Game, starring Samuel L. Jackson, a film I've never heard of either. But this film does not show a lack of directorial experience. It shows a writer and director who has really honed his craft. Having watched this film, you would have thought this director had been directing hit after hit. There are no big name actors or directors attached to this film, and that's part of what makes it so endearing and charming. This is the type of film you should be going to see at the movie theater. Themes of revenge and never giving up arise in this film, and it reminds me of films like Kill Bill and The Count of Monte Cristo, with Sisu roughly translating to courage in the face of overwhelming odds. There are a number of films that take violence and make it humorous, Deadpool, Bullet Train come to mind, and Sisu is squarely in that wheelhouse. Most people don't empathize with Nazis, sorry Kanye, which is why violence against them is cheered on by a theater full of people. People. And our theater had no love for those gold digging, dog hurting, Hitler loving cunts. Can we say c on YouTube? I'm sorry, did you just call God a C word? Yeah. The film clocks in at an hour and a half, and it feels longer than that 91 minute runtime, and I mean that in a good way. It feels fleshed out like a meaty, bloody, violent, delicious sandwich. So who is this film for? Sisu is for anyone who likes the stylings of a writer-director like Quentin Tarantino, especially if you enjoyed Inglorious Bastards. The dialogue in this movie isn't as snappy and witty as Tarantino, but the fun over-the-top violence and courage in the face of extreme adversity make this a great film for those who appreciate cinema. If you don't like violence, then this film may not be for you, and if you've made it this far into the review and you don't like violence, I'm surprised. Sisu is currently sitting at my second favorite film of the year, only behind John Wick Chapter 4. If you're feeling... <laughs> if you're feeling sexy, my friend, hit that subscribe button. Join the Lonely Nation, because together, we're never alone. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to check out my John Wick Chapter 4 review here, and I will catch you in the next one.